Hello, my dear brothers and sisters. It is so nice to see you guys here again, face to face. I am so glad、um, that I was able to、uh, post the video during Christmas, and、um, I have to do it like very early, while、uh, during my family still sleeping, because once they wake up, the children wake up. I do not have time. And you know, I was not planning to、um, sending any uploading any video, but the Holy Spirit He just want to give me peace. You know, when the Lord give me a message, I just have to share with you guys. And once again, this is the Lord saying, you know, you can plan anything you want, but、uh, you have to follow my plan. My plan is more important than your plan. So, you know, there's no point to plan our life. So, my advice to you and to myself is that not to plan anything, and、um, one day at a time, just to follow, ah,、uh, just follow the Holy Spirit. Follow the Holy Spirit. Be led by the Holy Spirit, any moment and、uh, every step. This is the best plan, and when you do that, you know for sure that you are in, in God's plan, and you are doing His will. So I am gonna do three short videos, and each video I'm gonna an an answer the three uh uh um I'm gonna answer the most common question that is asked by brothers and sisters, and this info this um I'm gonna answer in the way that um I'm not gonna say you have to do this. I'm just gonna answer in the way that、uh, this is how I do it. This is my experience. This is how I overcome things, and hopefully, this word will give you encouragement. And、uh, through、uh, the scripture you study, so you will grow good fruit. That's the purpose. Also, help you to get ready for the rapture, because we are just so close now. And the Lord is、uh, urging me to, you know, you, He said, "Rainbow, you need to take, you need to send this message out today, um, as as soon as possible, because、uh, tomorrow you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, and tomorrow I'm gonna."、Um, Record some messages, uh, for my family. I'm gonna prepare a, um, like a a box, a rapture box. You know, inside has my most important information. I want to pass on to my family. Yeah, just in case because I because I really don't wish they ever have to say that. I wish they come with me, but all I can do is pray and then. You know, I thank you so much for pray for me, my family, my husband. I thank you so much, and I am praying for you guys always, all the time. You guys always come first, so I'm gonna get straight to the first question. The first first question is how to make sure that I am ready at all time for the rapture. So, I'm gonna get straight to this. So what I'm gonna tell you now, you you have three steps, okay? Three step, and you need to do these three things every day, daily, okay? And all three things are as important as each other, so do not escape them. So the first thing you to do when you get up in the morning is to pray. It's very important that you get up in the mor in the morning. The first thing you to do before you get on with the day, you need to pray first. You need to meet God first before you meet you meet any up anybody before you start your day, okay? You need to be feel charged with God's power, with、um, peace and joy. Yes. So first you pray. So how you pray? Um, many of you know how to pray. This is just the word for people who is not sure. This is how I pray. So first I give thanks to our heavenly Father, okay? For anything you can think of, you feel grateful. Of second, I repent all my sins. I confess them, and I ask him for forgiveness in the name of Jesus Christ. Make sure there is nothing in between you and the Lord. Okay. And also, you need to ask God to sanctify you with holy water. Fire again and again and again, and when you are asking that, you can imagine water raining, pouring down you, being cleansed. That really helps. After that, you um proclaim your name 
and victory in the body of Christ. So now you thank God, you have repented, saying you are all clean. Now it is time to proclaim your victory. So you now you got the power of authority back. Yeah, say yes to God. Uh, say yes to God's grace. Say yes to His plan. Say yes to the book of your life. Say yes to all the gift He's got given you. Say yes to the power and authority He's given to you through Christ. Okay, so you said yes now. So now you know who you are in in Christ. You're confident. You're confident in Christ. Then you pronounce your loyalty to God. You can say this. You can say. Today, no matter what, I will be obedient to you. I will gladly accept all your discipline. I will only keep my focus on Christ. I will only be led by the Holy Spirit. I will only do your will, glorify your name. Next, give all kingdom, power, glory to the Almighty God. So this is、um, how I usually do it. I hope this helps. You can do it your way, you know. Whichever helps, you know. Yeah. So second, but oh, sorry. Most important is that when you pray, you need to pour your heart out. Okay. Don't don't save anything. Keep anything to yourself. Give or pour your heart out to the Lord. Be completely honest, earnest. Pray, prayer is the most important. Okay. So second one is study the scripture. So this is what I do. I pray and then I study the scripture. So praying, it is that、uh, when you pray, you talk to God. But when you study the scripture, God answer you back. God talk to you through the scripture. So here you form relationship, a communication. You see. So make sure your study is guided by the Holy Spirit. Not by your own wisdom or understanding, ask God to give you His wisdom and understanding. Don't follow any rule of how to study the Bible from any human system. Only the Holy Spirit knows the best way to study. If you don't want to miss out God's daily plan for you, then you need to abandon the ways of this world. And fully surrender and place your trust onto the Holy Spirit. The um Jesus said, "Worship God in spirit and in truth." And I have told you this before. When I study, I put my hands on top of my Bible. I say this prayer, um, Holy Spirit, please. Guide me through the scripture that my father want to show me today to do his will to glorify his name. Keep me updated in Jesus' name, Amen. So just say say this simple prayer, and the Holy Spirit He will come inside you, guide you to the exact scripture for you that will benefit you, help you to grow good fruit on that day, because、um, to. God is present, you know. He, you need to make sure that every day you are, if you want to hang up, hang update you every day with His plan, keep in His plan. You need to do this every day, okay? And you, you know, yesterday's information is yesterday, but today is something new. So you need to keep study, keep refreshing, keep growing. This is what it means to be um. Uh, Christian, yeah. Okay, so now you have studied your scripture, you have got the God's message. What's the third thing? The third thing is also the most important thing: is put His word in practice. So now God has, you know, He has give He give you exactly instruction what you need to do. You know, He said, you know, you do this, do that, but if you don't carry out His word. It won't. You won't grow any fruit. You, uh, you are just wasting God's time. You know, you're gonna disappoint Him. So it's very important that you put His word in practice. This is why God says, "Faith without work is dead." You can say all the things. You know, if you don't do the work, you won't. You are not gonna grow. This is this is the truth. So Jesus said. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit it by itself. 
It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. This is John, chapter fifteen, verse four. So, what does it mean to remain in Christ? So, in chapter fifteen, nine to ten, answers the question: As the Father have has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you obey my command, you will remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commands and remained in His love. So, here Jesus gave you a very a clear instruction how to remain in Him. That is to do His, to do God's command, to do God's command, not just say it, to do it. And if you can do God's command, then you are in His love. Then Jesus will live inside you. So, what is Jesus' command? First, love God with all your heart, your soul, your mind, your strength. Second one, love each other as I have loved you. Be willing to give up your life for God, for all your fellow human beings. This, including your enemy. People you dislike. Love is the biggest commandment of all. So if you can practice love, then Jesus, you have the love of Jesus and the Father. Then you get Jesus will remain inside you. Then you will be more and more transformed each day, more Christ-like each day, and you will grow healthy and strong. And the Holy Spirit will also remain in you. He, you will please the Holy Spirit. He, he wouldn't grieve for you because you are doing God's command. That is the only way to please God. So the confidence we have when we put His word in practice, uh, John fifteen seven to eight. If you remain in me and my words remain in you. Ask whatever you wish, and it will be given you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourself to be my disciples. So, when you have done all of those things, um, you when you have, you when you have do God's command and put every single word that God gave you daily to into practice, then you can go to the Father confidently to ask Him anything you want. Anything, anything in His will, okay. But I just ask God to do His will. This is the best、um, thing to ask because God's will is always the best. So if I ask God to do His will, things always work out for me as well. So I just want to be in His will. This is the best thing to ask. So、um, I'm gonna end here, and my second video would be the question is. I am struggling to fight my addiction and my sinful habit. How can I get rid of them once and for all? So the next video, I'm gonna answer this, and I'll see you later. Thank you for listening. Bye. 再见 Shalom.